Well, hello there, Gemini. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good for the week of February 6th through the 12th. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. All right, so let's get into your reading. We have the full moon in um, a Leo on the 5th. So the energy has really been lifted. Um, that was an emotional uh, roller coaster of a full moon, you know, bringing up things um, that really needed to be released in order to step into this new energy. So let's see what we have here. Your loved ones are safe. Let go of your fear and worry for your loved ones. I am looking after them. And porcupine spirit, time for a beginner mindset. Uh, okay, Gemini. You are definitely going on, you know, it's kind of interesting. The energies have really changed. <laughs> you are going in a to totally different direction. Um, I feel like you're a, a little bit anxious about this. This is a new direction for yourself. And I feel like, you know, with this energy of you are protected, your loved ones are protected, right? That you're, you're, you're holding on. It's almost like, you know, look, the way that she is, I'm going to try to see how the the sword is there. But instead of holding up the sword, she has it down. It's almost like hiding your truth, right? Being in this energy of not really holding up your truth. The sword represents your truth, who you are, what you believe in. It's almost like she's hiding it, right? Um. So there's this energy of... Okay, it's time to go in a new direction. Instead of holding your sword down, instead of hiding your truth, it is about stepping into your truth. You know, this could mean that you're you're changing jobs, you're stepping into sharing your light and love with the world in a big way. But there is also an energy of, oh my goodness, <laughs> what is how is this going to affect my family? You know, it could be that you're concerned about financial stability. If you're, you know, thinking about quitting a, a job and starting your own business or something like that. Um, and for some of you, you could be wanting to go in um, some kind of a direction like moving or making some major change in your life, leaving a relationship that's not working, going after something that your heart truly <laughs> desires. And yet you kind of put it on the back burner because you understand that this is going to affect not just you, but also other people in your life. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Wow. You have the law of attraction on the bottom by the book. You know, I, I really get the sense this is something that you've been hiding for some time. And it's a little bit of an energy of why have you been hiding it, right? Why, why you haven't stepped into the energy of truly embracing what it is that you want. I feel like you're almost like, Perhaps telling your loved ones, right, or even telling yourself, it's okay that <laughs> I'm not shining my light, I'm not uh, holding up my truth. It's okay because it's keeping everything peaceful or status quo or, or whatever. But there's also kind of coming into the truth of, why you're truly hiding your truth. And I want to get to the bottom of that because your energy right here coming out, um, your present energy is a little bit of a difficult energy. So let's try to figure out why you're hiding it. Yeah, you want to go in a totally different way. And it is, it's your fear that's preventing you. Your fear is about loving yourself enough to listen to your intuition. Because you have the two of wands, the wheel of fortune, the hermit. This is destined. Whatever your truth is, whatever you are meant to, to start sharing <laughs> with the world, whatever that is, it is destined. With the wheel of fortune, it is destined. When you go inside, right, with the hermit energy, you know that you are the wise one, that your truth is meant 
to be heard. Your truth, um, your love, your light is meant to be shared with others. It means that you do have to leave one situation in order to go in this other situation. But it means that you're also having to move out of your comfort zone. And I feel like that is what's difficult. I, there could be this sense of, well, I don't really want to make this change because I am worried about my financial stability or perhaps other people that are dependent on you for one reason or another, right? That it may not be about finances, but it could be that you feel like, you know, you could have an older parent or somebody in your life that is struggling, you know, physically or mentally, emotionally, and you, you're kind of like, well, I have to stick around. I can't put time and energy into my truth because I have to help this other person, right? But I feel like you've been hiding it for some time. And it's about understanding that the longer you wait, I feel like it's fine if that's how you feel. Like I have to stay where I am. I cannot move forward. I feel like you're also heading yourself up for perhaps a tower moment because it's almost like the universe is saying, this is destined. You can't stay where you are. It's destined that the energy will change whether you want it to or not it's you signed up <laughs> for this um before you incarnated here you know you signed up this is part of your soul contract with the wheel of fortune it's destined it's going to happen you are going to be the wise one you are meant to share your light and love with others so it's a little bit <laughs> do you want it do you do you want to make that transition right? Or do you want some situation to happen down the road that forces you into that? It's almost kind of like a wake up call, a warning, right? Um, because I feel like, yeah, you have a situation that is draining you of sharing your light and love, right? You know, it's not meant for you. You know that there is somewhere else you're supposed to go that, oh my goodness, I think it's really emotional because it's really affecting like my heart chakra. It's emotional because you know that you have to go in this direction. And I feel like for some of you, you are feeling like, well, if I make this choice, if I go in this new direction, right? I'm being selfish. There could be people in your life that tell you you're selfish, right? I think you've had this energy for a little bit of a time, Gemini, which really I feel like is another energy that is letting you know it is time to make this change. It's time for a beginner's mind. It's time to see this situation for the loving part of it. This energy has been coming out too. Um, I feel like Cancer had that. The, the energy that <laughs> it's time to see this situation in a different light. Yeah, Hierophant, full, three of wands. Gemini, if you're resonating with this, you are the Hierophant, okay? You, uh, you are the Hermit. I mean, <laughs> you are the wise one. You are a beacon of love and light. It is time to shine your light. And all I can say is that I feel like some of you may feel like you're an imposter. You don't have enough credentials or whatever you know it's kind of like no you have to believe in yourself and it's it's time it's like the universe the divine is saying it is time gemini we cannot wait any longer it's time to to make the move it's time to plan at least plan the move right you know it's time to go in this new direction to believe once again with this beginner's mindset oh my goodness Virgo had somewhat of an, a, a similar reading in the fact that it's time to see yourself for the Hierophant that you are, the wise leader that you are. It's time to see yourself like that, you know. Yeah, it's it's time to get it, get real <laughs> with who you really are, what love and light you have to share, the wisdom, your story, your purpose. It, it, it is calling you. It's almost like there there is no more waiting and your fears are holding you back. You're kind of like, I don't know. Am I, is this real? Am I, 
really the Hierophant? Or am I just a fool thinking I am the Hierophant? No, you are the Hierophant. <laughs> you are the wise one. Your story is important. It needs to be shared. Your, your purpose comes from the pain that you have experienced. Understanding, okay, the things that drained you, the experiences that were painful, that is where you're, you gained your wisdom. You, you see things in a different way. You're not the same person that you were when those things happened. You, you have done the healing. It's almost like, like, um, <laughs> it's almost, I, I almost feel like the universe feels like it's talking to a brick wall, Gemini. <laughs> it's that energy. It's like, what else can we say? It's almost like my, my guides are saying, yeah, it's kind of like, help them see. I don't know how else to say it. Oh, look, the moon, the, the king of swords, seeing clearly that you don't know where this path is going to lead, but that's okay. It's about believing in yourself, believing in the divine, knowing that when you step onto this path, the universe will have your back. The moon card, okay, is this energy of the divine is working behind the scenes to allow all of this to happen for you. All you have to do is believe and believe in yourself. It's really about believing in yourself and stepping onto this path. I think you're allowing other things going on in your life to, to prevent you from stepping onto this path, you know, family obligations, you know, situations in your life. That's, uh, it's just this energy of no longer hiding your truth. Don't hold the sword down. Pick your sword up proudly. Step into this energy of, all right, here I go. <laughs> here I go. I'm ready to go. All right, so let's take a look at your obstacle or your area of resistance. Yeah, you're holding on. The unfinished symphony. You may have started this journey and then for some reason, you kind of like closed it down. You got to a certain point and maybe there was somebody that said something to you or something. Like you got your sword out and maybe at one point you started to put it up to start shining your love and light and then something you know, caught you off guard or your confidence was nicked or something like that. And you, oh, oh, wait a minute. Let me put my, my sword down and look around, make sure everybody's okay. Make sure I'm safe, right? Um, because it's taking courage. It takes courage to share your love and light. It takes courage. You know, um, it really and, and truly does. And I can totally resonate with that. You know, when I, I mean, I've said several times when I started this channel, it was the scariest thing I had done in a long time. And I know for some of you, you're you're like, what? <laughs> but it's the energy of I am putting myself out there. I knew there were people in my life that might make fun of what I, uh, you know, what I believe in. There were people in my life that did distance themselves from me, you know, because, you know, what I truly believe I could hide for some time. Now you're understanding I can't hide it anymore because the universe is going to have it happen. It's destined. It is on your path. There's no, there's no fighting it. That That's the energy. There's no fighting it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's stepping into your power as the magician. You have all of the tools. You're feeling like maybe I need another tool. I, I, You may have started at one time and then it was kind of like, no, I'm not ready yet. And you put your sword back down, right? It's kind of like, no, the universe is saying you are the magician. This is your energy, but it's also the energy of knowing you can create whatever it is that you are wanting to create, right? Celebrating you, celebrating the magic that you have within you. The way that you, you're Gemini, <laughs> you're creative, intelligent. You can communicate so beautifully to others. It's stepping into the power of being your, of being the magician, of celebrating all the skills, the talents, the gifts that you have to the very most, right? Knowing that this is helping you to step into a new world. I think you're like, I don't know what that world looks like. I don't want to step into it. 
but let's take a look at it. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're concerned. I'm going to be orphaned. I'm go Once I step into sharing my truth, people are going to pull away from me. But here's the truth, right? Is that the, the future is optimistic when you look forward to it in an optimistic way. If you're kind of like, oh, this is destined. Oh, I have to do this. Well, okay, I'll kind of do it, but I'm not really holding up my sword. I'm just going to carry it around with me. There's a difference between doing that and being optimistic. Okay, when I step in, when I put my sword up <laughs> boldly, right? When I shine my love and light, when I go forward, not looking for the things that are going to leave my life, but look instead for the things that are going to come into my life. Because I am living my true authentic self, my goodness, your energy just changes. It's changing your mindset about not focusing on what you may lose. And I, I understand that because I was in that position, right? But then it's about focusing on what it is that you're trying to manifest. You're manifesting this. Oh my gosh. You're actually trying to manifest a new life for yourself. It's just like you're holding on, you're gripping on to the past. You're, it, there is this energy of just not knowing what's up, what's up ahead. But with the hanged man, it's understanding you will manifest exactly what it is that you want. When you step into your truth, when you start sh sharing your love and light with others, my goodness, you're going to see this in a different way. You're going to see this. You know, so that some of the people that left my life because they, they don't get <laughs> this journey that we're on together, you and I, right? They don't get it. Okay, it was sad. I'm not going to say that, that it wasn't. But at the same time, it's about embracing the new people that are coming in that will be on the path with you. It brings you more joy, right? Uh, you don't want to hide your truth. When we hide our truth, we're truly not happy. It's about understanding that there will be new people on your path. Seeing, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you have just been attached to what may leave your life or may what may have already left your life. You know, kind of like focusing on that. Instead, it's about focusing on being the empress in your life. Detaching yourself from the fears. Believing in yourself. Stepping into this energy of believing in yourself and believing in the universe. Knowing the divine that this is destined. And it's taking you directly. I feel like you do have some, you know, soulmates coming in because you have friends and colleagues, but I feel like you also have romantic love coming in too, if that's what you're searching for. When you step into your empress energy and the empress, you know, shines her light brightly, but she also allows the universe to bring things to her. She understands the biggest thing she can do is just be herself. Her loving, nurturing, creative self to birth new things into life, right? Birth new businesses, birth your truth, birth your, you know, um, your story. However that is that you are wanting to share it. My goodness, <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, you have the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like at first you're, some offer may have already come in or is coming in and at first you're going to be like, I don't know. I, you're going to have your list of um, excuses, but it is, it's about understanding. I think part of it is because you're showing up with this beginner mindset and this Page of Swords, right? Pages are about being a novice, being new at something, right? Gemini, you're so good at everything. It could be that this may be a little bit scary because this is the first time you're going out a little bit on your own to share your own truth. And usually I feel like Gemini's have, you know, like a whole entourage of people that are willing to be there with them. I feel like for some of you, you're stepping out on your own for the very first time. And this is a little bit scary. You're feeling new to the scene, right? 
Um, and you may have that feeling of, I don't know, this is all so new to me. I'm not sure I have what it takes. Yes, you do. <laughs> Remember, down deep, you are the hierophant. You are the hermit. You are here to share your love and light with others. My goodness, it's time to step into your purpose. You know, it is definitely time. All right, let's pull a soul truth card for you. And Gemini, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. All right, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Yeah, I feel like that is the thing, you know, giving yourself that kindness, that grace to be the new, new person on the block, right? Um, to step into that energy of, of putting yourself out there and then knowing that it is a new path. You know, there are going to be things to learn. There is going to be a learning curve. It's Gemini, you can do it. <laughs> you, you have the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. It could be that you're just concerned. Oh, this is so new. This is so new to me. I'm not sure I can do it here. You can, Gemini. Be your authentic self. Know that your loved ones are protected, that they are safe. And allow yourself to, to fly. Look, they, they keep showing me the wings here. It's time to fly. Um, okay, growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Look at yourself with a grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. I absolutely love that. It really is because I feel like I had that, you know, that energy that you think you may be an imposter. You're not really, you know, your, your truth isn't really the truth. <laughs> your light really isn't that bright. It's almost like you've convinced yourself because if you truly believed in yourself, right, uh, you would step onto this path. And it's about believing in yourself. And stepping onto this path, knowing that it is, you know, it is, where's the, it is destined. It is truly destined. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. I do wish you so much love and light. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.